So, here in the last session we discussed how to communicate with the computer. So, finally, as of our discussion, we using computer languages we are developing applications. So, here now the question is sir what type of applications we can develop using computer language how many types of applications we can develop. So, we can classify very easily right. So, one is a standalone applications second one is a web applications this applications classified into two types right only two types of applications we are using in our general life first one is a standalone applications second one is a web applications sir what is standalone application what is standalone application simple the application we are installing in our computer must be installed must be installed in our computer is called a standalone application to work with any application if you install that software into your computer is called a standalone examples if you want to play some videos. So, generally we are using VLC player. I just want to create a documentation or PowerPoint presentation we go for right MS office. I, I just want to browse something from the internet right Chrome we are using Mozilla Firefox we are using right Netscape navigator we are using. So, all these are right called a standalone applications because we are installing installing all these are examples VLC, MS office, Chrome all these things. And the second point is standalone application always compatible for single operating system compatible for single operating system. Here I just want to download MS office from the internet. So, whenever we type MS office we have to specify so what operating system we are using that is important. For example, if you are not specifying simply you typed MS office free download or MS office downloads right on the website it will show information. So, nothing but hyperlinks it will show MS office for windows operating system, MS office for mac operating system, office software for Linux operating system. So, they will specify very clearly the reason application is always dependent to an operating system is called a standalone. Suppose I have downloaded I have downloaded so one file one file to windows operating system MS office that we cannot install on a mac operating system because mac operating system softwares are different right. So, that is what we called compatibility. So, the software which is compatible for one operating system is not compatible for another operating system. And now web application what is web application? So, that we can tell very easily without installing any software still you are working with that is called web application in our daily life so regularly we are using mail gmail.com facebook.com youtube google.com right to perform the transactions icicibank.com right ircTC.com to reserve any ticket so all these are comes under web applications is it necessary to install gmail into our computer no 
is it necessary to install facebook into our computer no if you just have the browser software right you can browse any application that is running in the server in some other computer that is already in a running state so we can access directly first one first one no need to install no need to install and second one so that is independent to operating system independent to operating system that is not dependent to a particular operating system see suppose here i am using windows operating system consider and one of my friend is using samsung mobile generally samsung operating system nowadays android another person is using iphone so operating system is a ios so three persons want to communicate with each other so all the three people open facebook allowed or not allowed yes allowed so from three different machines nothing but on three different platforms operating systems at a time three people can interact three people at a time can interact right so that is called independent to operating system these are the examples facebook gmail irctc all these are comes under web applications right so this is simply the difference between a stand alone application and a web application stand alone and web application the question is sir why that application is a dependent to a particular operating system why sir operating system understands only a particular software a particular type of application right so that we'll see see only operating system understands one particular file reasons we should understand file extensions file extensions you can understand very easily because we know all these things file extensions suppose i have one file the file is a abc.txt file one text file i have the question is sir can i open the text file using vlc player allowed or not allowed means no sir i have one uh, xyz dot mp4 file sir can i open that mp4 file using notepad software no nothing but different softwares these are applications different applications understands different types of extensions txt file is understandable by notepad only mp4 file is understandable by vlc only so that is a file extensions in the same way operating system also having extensions these are os extensions os extensions suppose if we are using windows operating system windows operating system understands only dot exe files it will understand only executable files so that's why we have to download only vlc dot exe ms office dot exe and all as for example if you are using mac operating system extension is a dot dmz file if it is a linux operating system extension different flavors are there rpm files tar files it will understand so different operating systems understands different types of file extensions so if you download any software for windows operating system that must be a dot exe file 
So, the .exe file whenever we are trying to install on a Mac operating system that will reject compatibility error. So, for Mac operating system always we should download only .dmz file extensions. So, different operating systems understands different types of extensions just like a file extensions we know already file extensions right. So, that is why an application is always dependent to a particular operating system right. So, based on that one simple question. The question is programming language is a standalone application or web application any programming language you can take examples C language C++ Java dot net Android PHP any languages you can take all these languages question is a standalone applications or web applications means all these programming languages any language you consider all these programming languages are standalone applications standalone applications sir how can we say that simple thing Suppose, I want to write a C program, first you have to install the C software into your computer. Sir, I want to write a Java program, Java software you have to install. You are installing into your computer is nothing but a standalone application and extensions also .exe, .dmz extensions also available. So, as these are standalone applications installation is mandatory we must install installation is mandatory languages. So, programming languages always we have to install into our computer, but here it is a drawback of C and C++ languages is C and C++ languages are platform platform dependent languages. Sir, what is platform? We discussed already operating system platform dependent languages. So, using any platform dependent language we can develop only standalone applications using C and C++ language we can develop only standalone application because these languages are platform dependent languages. Remaining languages are platform independent languages platform independent languages. So, using platform independent languages we can develop both uh, standalone applications and uh, web applications. This is the only reason why the people learning Java and .NET languages reason using platform dependent independent languages only we can develop web applications using C and C++ we cannot develop standalone applications. So, then why sir still C and C++ they are using C mainly used for embedded system programming right nowadays what all the electronic devices we are using like a freezers, washing machines, rotors and all the softwares we can develop using C language only and the best gaming library is available in a C++. So, all the gaming programming so developed by using C++ language only. 
So, mainly Java .NET languages used to develop enterprise level applications, right. For example, web applications, ICICI bank, some any insurance related applications and all. So, they will go for Java and .NET. So, for every language there is a particular reason. So, that is why different types of people, so learning different kinds of languages, right. So, this is a programming language is a standalone and web application means standalone application or web and what type of applications we can develop. Sir, what is platform dependency and why C application right become platform dependent language? So, that we will see in the next session. Mm -hmm.